The recent spiral off trial, pivotal trial, demonstrated that renal denervation lowers blood pressure, and this was in patients who were drug naive. Now, from a clinical perspective, we are specifically interested in those who have resistant hypertension with high cardiovascular risk. And this study was very important to show that renal denervation works in this high risk population. The key findings of this study are summarized in the next three slides. Here you see the baseline characteristic patients in the Global Simplicity Registry fulfilled the criteria of resistant hypertension. Uh, the average age was 61 years, uh, mainly uh, male gender and multiple comorbidities as indicated on the slide. The average office systolic blood pressure was 175 millimeters of mercury and the 24-hour systolic blood pressure 157 millimeters of mercury. If we move to the next slide, you will see the blood pressure lowering effects of renal denervation in this patient cohort over three years. And if you look at office blood pressure, a very convincing, significant blood pressure reduction uh, from six months onwards that was sustained out to three years with a reduction of 23.5 millimeters of mercury, highly significant. And that has been confirmed by ambulatory blood pressure monitoring, which is considered more robust with an average reduction at three years of around 10.4 millimeters of mercury. Now, on the next slide, I think is very important information to put this a bit into context. The number of medications has not really been changed much in that period. Uh, there was no escalation, but also not any major reduction in the medication. Despite this, if you look at the distribution of office systolic blood pressures, you see at um, three year follow up, more than half of the patients did not have the criteria of resistant hypertension anymore. And if you focus on the green bars, you realize that around 36% of patients were actually controlled. So this is highly relevant and certainly would relate to a reduction in cardiovascular risk in these patients. I believe that these results are very important. It's a large cohort in a real world setting of patients with resistant hypertension treated by what we would consider standard. And on top of that, uh, if you add renal denervation, you achieve blood pressure control in 36% of patients and significant blood pressure reduction in most of those, which will reduce their cardiovascular risk.